folks. Kevin Carroll here with your PM update looking ahead to Thursday's edition of the Times Leader. It's the report everyone has been waiting for. The Luzerne County District Attorney's Office today released the results of their investigation into the November general election paper shortage and found no evidence of criminal intent or activity. Jennifer Hernandez has the details. A suspect in a shooting that severely injured a man in Wilkes-Barre last month initiated a brief standoff with deputy U.S. Marshals and City Police, threatening to use hollow point 9mm rounds on law enforcement officers, Ed Lewis will explain. Plymouth Alive tonight will present members of three fire departments with a check for their help year-round, and with the Kabasi Festival as well. Margaret Rory will have that for you. And Bula Boy will tell us about a new program to help families in need with food, hygiene, products, and more. All of that in Thursday's Times Leader. And remember, folks, if you're not already a Times Leader subscriber, all you have to do is call 829-5000 or visit timesleader.com slash subscribe. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.